two, one. I love it when a science demonstration looks like magic. And this is a great DIY experiment that you can try that shows that off. So here's what you're gonna need. A regular roll balloon, the bigger the better, a pair of scissors, and a trash bag that you just get from the grocery store. Step one is to cut a ring out of the grocery bag that's about two centimeters deep. There we go. Step two, blow up your balloon. Step three, charge the balloon with some static using your hair. Get a good charge on all sides. What you're doing is you're charging it negatively all over the balloon. Next, charge the little uh, plastic bag. Just like rub it on your hair. This is getting it a negative charge. A negative charge oppose each other. So that's what we're counting on, is that these charges are gonna oppose each other. Now you got negative charges on the balloon and negative charges on the bag. You're gonna throw the ring up. If all goes well. Ah, look at that. So the negative charges are opposing each other. We've got an old school film canister killing your grandma's drug door. She's probably got them there. We've also got an Alka-Seltzer tablet. You can get these from the pharmacy. And finally, a little bit of water. That goes into the film canister. And then if you put the tablet in there, it starts to create carbon dioxide gas. And if you do that and then flip it over, you've now essentially created a rocket. Now let's do it more. So here's the secret to doing many of those at once. All you do is you fill up your little thing with water, and then you add a little spacer like this one. That is gonna keep the tablet away from the water until you flip it over. And when you do, then you can get all sorts of them going off. Oh, see there's one. So the pressure builds up. Get some more. I want to show you a piece of simple chemistry that you kind of have to see to believe. This little white powder is called sodium polyacrylate, and it's sometimes used to coat seeds to help them grow a little bit faster. But that's not its biggest use. Its biggest use is actually as an additive in disposable diapers, and let me show you why. So watch what happens when I add all this water to just a little bit of powder. Wait, it gets better. Three, two, one. Now that's science, people. Sulfur hexafluoride, here it is. <laughs> EA Sports, it's in the game. All right, it's time for another fun DIY uh, experiment that I think is definitely going to make you smile. Something called the Leyden Frost Effect. You have probably seen the Leyden Frost Effect if you've ever put a little bit of water onto a very hot pan. And those frosts are actually dancing around on a layer of steam created by all the heat. But now look what happens when we take some of those water bead or bees things that you've soaked in water and put them in a hot pan. Ah! Look at that! They're making little steam bursts and that keeps them launching. I don't know about you, but I just think that's adorable. It's so funny. Really surprised how many people haven't seen or tried this really simple and interesting physics demonstration. Here's what you're gonna need. Just a cup of water like this, a piece of cardboard that you put right over the center of that, a cardboard tube that you put over the center of that, and then an uncooked egg, which goes horizontally on top of that. Now, because the egg and the cup of water are heavier, they have more mass, they want to stay where they are. Well, these two objects, they want to move if I hit them. So, what you do is you're just going to whack the side of this, and that's going to bump these out of the way, and if all goes well, the egg should fall in the cup. Looks, hopefully, like this. Three, two, one. Three. Yeah. All right, time for another easy DIY science experiment that you can try. All you're gonna need for this is a leaf blower and a soda bottle. So this experiment uses something called the Kawanda effect. And the Kawanda effect is the tendency of a moving fluid, which air technically is, to want to follow the curve of an object, like the curve of the top of this soda bottle. To do the experiment, just get your uh, leaf blower, point it straight up. I add a little bit of water into my bottle. That gives it a little bit of weight. And then all you gotta do is turn on your leaf blower, put it in the flow of air, and it should suspend itself in a bubble of air pressure. Here we go, let's give it a try. Three, 